Thousands of Tunisians took to the streets over the weekend against President Kais Saeed's government. Protesters were opposing the government's increasing attempts to silence the opposition with threats of arrest and intimidation and its failure to address the people's basic economic concerns. On Saturday, protests were organized by the Tunisian General Labour Union and the Tunisian Workers' Party, among others. The protest appeared to be the biggest against Saeed's rule so far. Protesters raised issues such as government restrictions on trade union movements, the rising cost of living, the government's move to reduce subsidies on essential commodities such as food and energy, among others. Dozens of activists, journalists and judges have been arrested over the last few months by the police in Tunisia. Some have been charged with conspiracy against state security and are being tried in military courts. The opposition has termed this as political persecution. United National Front On Sunday, the call for mobilization was issued by the National Salvation Front, which is led by Inhada, the country's largest political party. Tunisia's other main liberal and centrist parties are also part of the front, which is collectively demanding Saeed's resignation. Sunday's protest demanded that the government release all those arrested in cases related to so-called conspiracy against state security and stop the crackdown on the opposition. The front's chief, Najib Chebi, also announced that beginning from this week, activists and ordinary citizens of Tunisia would hold weekly protests every Wednesday until their demands are met. He also claimed that the National Salvation Front will try to form a united national front by working with the Tunisian General Labour Union and other political forces in the country. The protests on Sunday were held despite a blanket ban imposed by the government. Protesters defied police warnings that the gathering was illegal and marched to Habib Burgiba Avenue, breaking barriers erected by the police. In July 2021, President Saeed had dismissed the elected government and later dissolved the parliament. After ruling by decree for months, he introduced a new constitution last year that replaced the 2014 constitution and made changes to various laws in effect, granting him almost unlimited power. A majority of the country's political parties and the largest trade union, the Tunisian General Labour Union, have rejected Saeed's changes. Many have accused him of carrying out a political coup and attempting to establish an authoritarian system in the country.